sleepover at mummy's house edition it'll work out it'll work out it'll work out and i've talked about how important chemistry is in the past i know i'm gonna sound like a complete like is she whining she's really struggled with keeping up with them like shoot lot is sitting right next to me over here but like you know those sos ones also i said what i said <laughs> It's really actually okay it's still good morning it is 11 28 a.m and today is the 6th of june wow i blanked on the date there for a second 6th of june i actually have an event to go to in the next one hour but i'm thinking of skipping it so today seems like a little bit of an action packed day but not that much of an action packed day either question mark there is a beauty event that I'm thinking of skipping to be honest. It is really hot outside and I've attended a lot of events for this brand. I love the products and all of that but I just I'm, I'm not in the headspace for an event at the moment. I am meeting a friend right after a colleague slash friend someone I know through work who is actually a very popular PR rep uh, who represents brands and has gone on to become a very good friend. Let me put it like that. Komal. I'm meeting her for lunch right after where actually I left her a text saying hey I think I'm skipping the event so I can meet you for lunch sooner so I think I'm gonna go straight to lunch um, I haven't been to Bougie Cafe in Bandra as yet which is really surprising because I don't live very far away from it and everyone in the world and their mothers have been there and everyone praises some of the food items over there so I'm gonna go there and have like lunch with her I'm just literally giving you the itinerary for the entire day okay and then after that I have a school friend of mine whom I haven't actually seen since I want to say at least 10 or 12 years who lives in London who is in Bombay this week and uh, she hit me up and said are you free for a coffee so I might just hang back at Bougie after my lunch with Komal and have her come there as well we haven't fixed on where we're going her and I the school friend and I so we're gonna figure that out and if I kind of if I like Bougie I guess as well then I'll just tell her to come there too uh, we just decided to meet in the Bandra Khar area period and then where we said we would figure closer when she's driving in I have to come back home and film one or two sponsorship things for clients uh, for a different video and then I absolutely 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 want to start reading this one particular book that I've been procrastinating on uh, at some point today um, yeah that's the agenda I also think I might have a client shoot tomorrow so I need to send that outfit for approval to the client and once that's approved then for sure i can do the shoot tomorrow there are certain clients who want to see like the outfits in advance and things like that uh, so i want to make sure i get that done send it out if i get the approval in time then i can do the shoot tomorrow if not it will not happen tomorrow on friday it will happen on monday i would rather do it tomorrow purely because then i can truly well and good have time to edit it and send it across within the timeline um, that's a lot of work talk for a change I'm kicking off a vlog with. I'm typically starting it off with some kind of updates actually or the other. On the work front, on the personal front, sorry, yesterday I posted the vlog where I was talking about like potentially getting the new house and you guys are so sweet in the comments. You're like, do this and do that and you must get this. And some of your interior designers were like, can I pitch in or giving me ideas. I appreciate that so 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 much um i even removed an istikhara um to see istikhara is basically like um if, when you're confused about something you say a little prayer and you open the quran sharif it's an islamic it's a religious thing and depending on what the what the what the quran sharif opens on it's like it's almost like Allah is telling you to do it or not do it based on of course the translation some may call it superstitious I get it I fully get it the people who don't know about it or don't believe in it your opinion is yours it has never misguided me in my experience and uh, it came very very good for what I'm thinking of so I'm telling myself I will not I mean in my head I feel like on some level I've made the decision uh, but I'm also not going to be in a hurry because there are so many more there are lots of aspects that I have to consider uh, when it comes to uh, finances and business and where what's locked and where what investments are and how I want to navigate that which reminds me I know you guys have been asking me for a finance based um, video 
and I want to give you a little update on that as well because I get DMs about that a couple of times a week on Instagram based on that one video uh, I posted and I want to kind of just give you a little bit of a snippet I have most of those pointers ready with me the only reason I haven't sat down to film it is because on some level I'm worried that I'm not a finance expert I've posted one beginner friendly finance video on my channel I'll leave a link to that down below in the description section for you for sure but like my hesitation is that I don't want to sound like I'm giving advice from a place of knowledge I'm giving advice rather from a place of experience on what has worked for me I guess I could just kick off the video with that disclaimer I'm thinking aloud as I'm speaking to you but yeah I know because you guys keep asking me about that video and this is why I haven't filmed it like I kind of have the content on my notion and and all of that in place Mujhe paani ki bottle de dogi, please or ha or office ka AC on kardu. it is ridiculously hot also thank you for the suggestions on things to do for migraines and heat triggered migraines uh, I have tried some of them I have to admit but if I'm being totally honest Nothing seems to work except for this Ayurvedic tablet. There was a trip that my mom and I went on, uh, a detox trip to Kerala, to this lovely detox, um, I don't want to call it a resort, but like this center. I'll leave a link to that vlog also for you down below in the description section. And I have to say, when I had a migraine there, because there was like, again, you're in the AC all the time, and then the minute you step out, it was really, really, really hot you're in south india where it's even hotter than bombay and possibly more humid than in mumbai i keep calling it mumbai bombay whatever works and they recommended this ayurvedic tablet for me i will leave the name of it or the amazon link for it on the screen you don't get it everywhere but i have to admit it is the only thing that has been working for me i don't want to jump on the migraine based antibiotic train and that's only because on some level i think the more you feed yourself antibiotics for regular things your body also has builds an immunity for it over a period of time i don't know if i've talked about my dormant malaria before thank you i don't know if i've talked about my dormant malaria before if i have i don't want to land up repeating myself if you don't know about it tell me in the comments but very long story short i suffered from dormant malaria from age six months to one year ish all the way till i was 12 13 years old i lived with the disease pretty much thank you and i avoid antibiotics i mean i have antibiotics when i need to i don't want to make it sound like i don't because i do clearly on an everyday basis but like you know those sos ones also um i feel like your body builds an immunity on it and i'm not saying this out of my ass i swear um i've had this conversation with doctors i have family friends who are doctors i've spoken to doctors across homeopathy and allopathy about this um i've spoken to ayurvedic specialists about this and a lot of people in fact nine out of ten of the people that i've spoken to agree with me uh, or rather agree with the not me i didn't come up with the research agree with the research that your body just builds an immunity if you keep giving it something non-stop um and so based on that reminder hydrate drink your water drink your water with me big sips come on if you didn't do it pause this video and go have water please um pani pyo this is old school style and i'm bringing it back pani pyo pani pyo pani pyo is garmi mein to itna pani pyo na kam hai well, what was i saying and so i my sos my pain tablet long story short is an ayurvedic one um <laughs> yeah that's uh that's where everything is at i'm getting a reminder for my event and i'm yeah i think i'm just gonna skip it i've attended a lot of their events in general and i like the products they feature their products but today i'm just not feeling eventy <laughs> eventy uh what i will do is i will go and do a little bit of very basic ish glam because i'm stepping out meeting people and i am going to come back home and film for my other sponsorship stuff anyway and Romaisa has been calling me non-stop she's at the end of her summer vacation so school starts on Monday Rayan's too they go to separate schools but like school resumes on Monday for them which is the 10th of June 
and <laughs> she's like sleep over popo sleep over popo sleep over popo and i said i will go and sleep over with her tomorrow night on friday night um so that if i want to sleep in and hang out with her on saturday morning saturday afternoon i can and she was like why not tonight why not tonight so last night i explained to her why not tonight because like saturday is the weekend and then again she called me to this morning and she made my dad call me and he's like why aren't you staying over she's like i'm like papa because i can sleep in on saturday then and he's like yeah that makes sense i'm like yeah she's been calling me every day saying this this is why um jerry's birthday dinner by now you've probably already seen the surprise party vlog if you haven't make sure you go see it on my channel i will leave a link to that also down below in the description section at dinner she was like okay from here will you come home and have sleep over with us i said beta today is jerry uncle's birthday i'm going to go home um <laughs> so yeah she's my She's my cutie. She's the apple of my eye. Before you ask me um, about where this kaftan is from, because I get questions on my kaftans all the time. Also, I love the detailing at the bottom over here. This is actually a weave length sample. Uh, weave length is my mom's brand, which I help her run online. But there's been a little bit of a pause on that. Lots of updates happening as usual at the start of this video. The reason there's been a pause on that is because. my mom ha got such an overload of orders and she's really struggled with keeping up with them like in a sense that she's delivered all of them on time i don't want to make it sound like she hasn't cuz she has but because she delivered she was so overwhelmed and all of that with then churning out the next collection so somewhere i think she was just a little bit overwhelmed that online when you're getting into the brand side of it and not like the usual how she was doing custom side of it the collections have to come out a little bit more faster and you can't just kind of wait on it and obviously like my mom mashallah she'll be 61 this month in june june and june 30th and she works at a slower pace now than she did and um, we had this chat and she said i want to do this as in when i can do this because she's still continuing to do indian bridal wedding guest custom orders so i said okay it's not going to be like the brand brand we envisioned then because you need to work faster for that but i respect it and uh, that's that okay i have really chatted with you non stop for like almost 12 minutes Uh, right at the bat, right off the bat, at the start of this video, uh, I am gonna go do a little bit of glam, get my hair, this, that, all that in order, and uh, see you in some time when I'm like fully ready. I'll also film a vertical video or something while I'm getting ready. it is much later wow new angle unlocked question mark it is almost 4 pm 3 minutes to 4 pm i just came back home i was leaving bougie cafe i met both komal as well as my school friend and then literally while i was leaving down on the ground floor i bumped into a table full of the bloggers who did attend the cardly event so i sat with them for about 10 minutes as well before coming back home i have a couple of things to do in the house some more if i launch work to look into but what i'm feeling so happy about is that you know how i'm always complaining about the living room fan making a lot of noise i perpetually have to switch it off when i'm vlogging which is basically all the time uh the electrician has just come i mean he's just leaving rather he was working through the time that i was not at home and i got a whole bunch of things fixed around the house electrician electric city wise ek fan ka karwana tha ek dusri light ka karwana tha ye karwana tha wo karwana tha to ek acha lamba sa bill karwa ke maine sara ka sara wo sab fix karwa diya hai taaki vlogging ke time pe wo awaaz hi na aaye um so that's that even in the kitchen i needed to get some things done basically just did everything that i needed to do um another i'm back home jerry is back home super early from work as well i'm going to sit and finish off some of the verified launch work that i obviously cannot vlog at the moment but i do yeah i love how my outfit turned out today i also so filmed a real flash was like vertical content getting ready um in this whole look so if you want to catch that i will leave a link to that down below tell me what you think of it i really like the way this outfit you know kind of looks on me it's very me it's that slightly school girl slightly corporate but still like nice kind of vibe not too formal kind of vibe like casual kind of vibe um it's quite me i am also thinking that when i take my glam off loving my glam today by the way literally not wearing foundation ah uh, my camera uh just kept the concealer blush 
I always do eyeshadow no matter what, which always makes a difference. And the girls were complimenting me so much on my makeup today. And in my head, I was like, this is my cheatish makeup look. Except for foundation, let's just say I did everything. Um, I just did concealer. I put a lot of airbrush powder on me because it is so hot outside. I didn't want to sweat. Um, and I love the way the shadow looks. One of the girls was going on about how my highlight on the eyes is always popping. I'm wearing topaz from Wearified, which I think is just one of those suits everybody pigments. Um, and I never not do my brows. I said what I said. I'm probably going to film or uh, get unready in some time when I take the glam off. And uh, I'll catch up with you all a little bit later. It is the next day and for a change you're seeing me kick off the day with a little bit of glam I mean who am I? <laughs> I have to tell you I'm going through this phase where I'm filming a lot of different vlogs at the same time Like I'm filming something for my birthday at the same time I'm filming stuff for verified launches at the same time Literally my new launch which is happening at some point in June supposed to happen on my birthday but it looks like there's going to be a little bit of at least a week's delay i have all of them like the shoot lot basically what happens is we get the first 10 20 pieces for the shoot that come in early and then the big lot the commercial lot that comes in a little bit later my shoot lot is sitting right next to me over here and i've been on call since morning i had to finish a couple of shoots since morning what's the time right now it is exactly 12 36 pm and uh, I have a salon appointment at 2 p.m. So I'm filming that separately for a different vlog. I feel like my life is uh, a lot of organizing right now, a lot of logistics right now. And I kind of love it. This is going to sound so weird. But you know when there's like a lot of things to coordinate and stuff? I'm actually really good at that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm very good at organizing, planning. Highly recommending you download the Notion app if you don't have it. Because the Notion app really helps me keep a lot of shit in order, keep a lot of things planned. So I want to put that out there. I know I've mentioned this before. This is not new information to you. I've just gotten done with filming a whole lot of swatches. Um, <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff going on um, that I cannot wait to share with you. But at the moment, where I'm at is that I have another call to jump on. I have a couple of edits to get sorted. I am also... <sighs> I'm also in the thick of planning a video, not filming a video, that you will see towards the end. Like, there's so much going on at the same time. And I know I'm going to sound like a complete, like, is she whining? Uh, I swear I'm not whining. Thank you. I got you back to white, which is how I like to vlog. I was filming beauty stuff before the Bhra Kloza. I'm not whining. I'm super grateful. I swear I'm super grateful. Alhamdulillah, every single day for the life that I get to live but I am also just trying to make sure I don't miss anything in the crux of everything which is why I mentioned Notion because like I really 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 well and truly love that app and it keeps me super organized Notion and if you're ever looking for any other app to add on to it the Microsoft to do app those are my like go-to organizing apps in the midst of all of this we're starting base work on the podcast we've started base work on the podcast season two but the issue is that the network that I work with they are in the process of hiring a new channel producer because the one that I used to work with last year between seasons she left them um, and they need obviously they haven't like found a replacement so they have someone joining mid-June I believe today in present tense it is what 7th of June I think today is yeah um, so I think in the next weekish roughly I should be in a position to have a new channel manager or have producer and then from there all the base work will actually go into action. <laughs> Sometimes I'm really proud of myself for being able to organize everything. I think today is just one of those days. It's a very rare feeling when I find myself saying, hey, listen, you're doing a good job. Um, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into um, action mode. I'm going to go into getting everything else done. And I will see you a little bit later today. Tonight is sleepover night. So Romaisa uh, has been calling me every day saying can you come for sleepover can you come for sleepover today is friday both her and rayan's schools resume on monday so i guess i'll just see you straight away in the evening because i am going to be filming for other things in the middle um like i mentioned earlier <laughs> It's time for me to go to my 
parents' place to sleep over and Ramaisa has called again a bunch of times. I was packing my things and I thought that I should just quickly show you the things that I'm packing. Getting my meds out of the way. I have my AirPods case with me. Um, this tube was recommended by my friend's dermatologist to her and then she recommended it to me and ever since I started using this on like my heels, around my thighs, if you chafe uh, or anything like that, this has landed up being a cream I love so much. It is called Emoline Propylene Glycol Cream Emoline. It's just some drugstore cream moisturizer literally which I absolutely love. Wait, I don't want to mix the medicines with my skincare. Um, I got an additional snail peptide from Dermaco which I am putting into the bag. I literally have a backup of a backup of a backup and my dad was gonna order one. So I told him no wait I'm gonna give you an extra that I have. I have this Kafta 90 situation over here and then for the night and for tomorrow morning I have a toothpaste. This is my Perfora toothpaste that I'm sorry toothbrush. Am I forgetting words now? I've got my uh, e.l.f. cleanser over here. I have also one more snail peptide. This is the Cosser X one, so I have both on me. I intend on layering both that and this, by the way. Um, and the makeup removing balm I have is this one over here from Good Molecules. I picked it up from the US last year and it is such a stunning formula. All of that has been thrown into my bag, almost forgot the Emeline. I apply this on my heels and my thighs, as weird a combo as that sounds. Uh, this is a Tory Burch bag that I actually got in PR from the brand when I attended one of their events earlier this year or was it last year? I don't know, I don't remember. And that's that. What's in my bag? Sleepover at Mummy's House Edition. Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot to. <laughs> I almost forgot to take my airbrush powder, take my keys. I always, 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 always have random chocolates, dairy milks, lip oil coming out of my bag. Um, and of course, the most important thing, my wallet. This is the Sabya Sachi H&M Collection wallet. And I have, um, I bought this, no, I didn't buy this. I got this in PR, but did I get it in PR? No, I'm pretty sure I got it in PR, I didn't buy it. And even the Gucci card holder that I use, the green one, I love how this is becoming like a proper what's in my bag. My card holder is stuck in the pouch in pouch, one sec. Huh. It has AC on it. This is from Gucci, also received in PR a little over a year ago, I want to say, and I really love it. Now I have everything and I'm ready to leave. Let's count! Five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. You just said two more than me. I won, I won. Hi, I am back home from my parents. I came a little while ago, took a shower. Um, I've given Jayshree the day off. She had some things to get done for her kids and her mum in law. I've ordered um, lunch from Kasuma's. I have to tell you my favorite thing to order from here. Um, and their dim sums that you can cook at home, the momos that you can cook at home are also really nice. What I've ordered from them, what I always ordered from there, are their crispy fried original chicken momos. If you're vegetarian, they have the same thing in vegetarian version too. And I've also ordered their baked original chicken cheesy mo. I can show you what it looks like but it's basically just a dim sum nothing special in the way it looks and i always order everything with their naga chili sauce which is delicious sometimes they mess up the sauces though so disclaimer there in the cooking instructions i always add for prasuma please make sure the sauces are correct like i always have to put that because a few times the sauces have been wrong okay the sauces are right that's the first thing i'm seeing inside because i've got two my, I'm salivating, sorry. Naga chili sauce is mm. This kind of spice, I like. 
they usually send these really interesting tong like um, chopsticks in. Ha, nahi bheja is bar. Okay. Ye to aap haath se bhi kha sakte ho, lekin I'll show you what it looks like. This is the cheesy mo. Oh my god, that melted cheese. It looks so, so, so nice. The sticker I'm putting away. And on this side, we've got the crispy chicken momos. I'm watching some Sarapai versus Sarapai and gonna have my lunch. Hi, so my Sunday started off on the note of having the keema. The keema today wasn't as good as it normally is, so I actually didn't end up having much of it. I then had an appointment that I booked in from Urban Clap for a pedicure and a foot massage. So I was really glad to get that done out of the way. I don't know how much B-roll I'll put in of that while I'm talking about this purely because putting feet up on the internet can have some slightly weird kinky consequences. So I'm anyway, I've vlogged that for a separate video that I'm doing. Apart from that, this Sunday has not started off on a great note because our house help had taken the day off yesterday and was supposed to come back this morning by 10 a.m. Um, it is 2.30 p.m. <laughs> I don't know what jinx has been going on. I thought it had finally lifted and we were well settled in. I'm likely to think and not hope but I assume something has gone wrong over there. I know her kid wasn't well which is why she took an early monthly off even though like her monthly offs were not due. We gave her an extra off because her son wasn't well. Um, I'm assuming something may have happened over there because it she was supposed to come in by 10 a.m. It's 2.33 p.m. exactly speaking and um, I can't get through her phone. My phone isn't getting through to her at all. Jerry's phone to her phone is just ringing. WhatsApp messages, Jerry's messages are delivering to her, mine are not. So I'm really confused. Um, but things a few things I hear, a few things she took home. I'm just really confused, but she's a really nice person, so I'd like to give the benefit of doubt that something has genuinely happened. I'm gonna hope and wait for today, and then if not, I'm gonna have to contact the agency and figure a solution to this, because this is really strange. I also just feel like I'm, I hope I don't turn into a cynical person when it comes to hiring house staff, like so many of my friends have become over a period of time. I'm always like, no, this person's nice. It'll work out, it'll work out, it'll work out. And I've talked about how important chemistry is in the past. And the chemistry was just starting to get formed. Literally just about, I want to say in the last four or five days, in a sense where we were getting into a rhythm of things. Um, because she literally would have completed one month yesterday, but then she took the off, that kind of a thing. Um, and she had already used up her monthly offs in week two because of something else. So like, it's just really confusing. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that she will show up at some point today um, and tell me why this is happening. I feel like it's okay if one is stuck in things and all of that, but ek phone kar liya karo, inform kar liya karo ya uthao. I have called her at least 15 times, more so because initially I was just downright worried that are you okay. Um, now I'm realizing she's, she's definitely okay, but something must have happened is my unfortunate assumption. Oh, I'm just... Keeping my fingers crossed, like I said, I don't even like to talk about things one does or, you know, it, it's in a sense that it feels like that I'm doing things so I can talk about it. Watch honey like that, but I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. The only thing I intend on doing this afternoon, well, I actually had a client reel to film, but I realized I can do that tomorrow early in the morning as well um, and send that out by tomorrow evening to the client. That's the only thing I really have to do work-wise, commitment-wise, that I need to kind of get my get off my plate on an urgent basis. Urgent basis in the sense by tomorrow also works. Uh, tomorrow I have a separate client thing that I'm shooting with the team. Uh, our verified sh uh, June launch things are coming in hopefully again by tomorrow. So I'm keeping my fingers for that, crossed for that as well. I just played Galhona Ho on Netflix and I just want to distract my mind because I get very stressed when things are not like going as per plan. I'm someone who's very organized and likes for things like I'm a creature of habit in that sense. So when anything goes a little bit amiss, my mental peace goes for a little bit of a toss. Um, but I have Jerry and Jerry and I are trying to figure things out around the house for now. Um, I just I'm, I like when things are set. So when the set is disrupted a little bit, it throws me off balance, as weird as that sounds. 
um i'm just going to watch kal hona ho for some time distract my mind probably take a nap very excited to be taking a nap because my mum called me up and woke me up at 7 something am on a sunday morning and i had woken up a couple of times in my sleep last night um so i had a disrupted sleep um and i she woke me up a couple of she woke me up at 7 something in the morning for me to select things from pictures cuz she was shopping in sydney and i'm like mom it's like a sunday morning 7 something am i got so annoyed at her and then later on after i woke up i coordinated with her on a text i was like can you please not wake me up on a it's the one day i sleep in and that too with disrupted sleep i woke up several times last night my friends were telling me completely random going on a different topic my friends were telling me how my hair has grown like so long and i'm so grateful for that it is still fine hair i don't have very dense very thick hair working on volume has been like length will come to me more easily than volume will come to me that's just the nature of my hair anyway gonna hydrate aap hi pani pe lo little reminder agar aapke aaj wajo pani nahi hai to video ko pause karo jao pani lekar aa jao hydrate yourself and i'm going to drink some water and watch kal hona